So oh, we, uh, I guess last week we were talking about um, Westboro Baptist Church, you know, the church is so vocal um, against homosexuals. And um, there's another church called Exodus International, and it's a church that's been around for 40 some odd years, and they are shutting down, and they issued an apology to the gay community, basically saying that it, 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 they didn't feel that they'd been Christian in their methods and right. this is the church that said that there is uh, they offered classes to, to homosexual people how mm -hmm. to cure you mm -hmm. of homosexuality and after 40 years they are finally saying um, apologizing to the lesbian gay bisexual and transgender community um, for years of undue judgment um, by the organization and from the Christian church as a whole so I say bravo to them and I wish that Westboro Baptist Church would follow in their footsteps. Might do the but, same thing. Yeah. You know so many though we hear these stories all the time about religious groups that you know claim to be you know believe in God and Christians or whatever and they have these judgmental views mm -hmm. against people because of their race or because their sexual orientation and I'm just just enough. Well, and it turns so many people away from the church. Yeah. But that's the problem and instead of winning people to God sometimes we turn people away mm -hmm. because they think wow if that is you know if that's what it's like to love God, or if that's how God cares about me, and I don't, I don't want to be part that. of it. Mm -hmm. So we've got to we got to be more loving and accepting of other people because yeah. yeah, none of us are perfect. And you you form a community of hate by doing that. Exactly. You know, if, that, if that's your your soapbox that you're standing mm -hmm. on, then I think you just you know that's mm -hmm. awful. But absolutely. So anyway, they're shutting down after.